So in terms of uh, post-transplant lymphoproliferative diseases, a majority of patients we see are uh, either polymorphic histology or they will have monoclonal lymphomas, predominantly diffused large B-cell lymphoma. So the first-line therapy for many of these patients uh, who have PTLD arising after solid organ transplant these days is using a risk uh, stratified sequential treatment approach, RSST as we call it. So we give rituximab, four doses of rituximab for all patients and then assess response. And if patients have a good response and a low baseline IPI, they will continue with four further doses of rituximab and avoid chemotherapy altogether. So this is a strategy that is applied to roughly around a third of patients will avoid chemotherapy in this setting. The other two thirds will either not have a good enough response or will have a higher baseline IPI and will then move on to receive our CHOP chemotherapy. With this strategy, the overall response rates at the end of treatment are around 80 to 90 percent, around 60 to 70 percent patients will have a CR and we know that the median survival using this strategy is now in excess of six years. Uh, unfortunately, for patients who relapse or have refractory disease, second line and beyond treatment options are very limited because treatment toxicity is quite high. So higher intensity chemotherapy autologous stem cell transplant comes with serious uh, toxicity in this patient group and currently it is an area of unmet need. Uh, but for patients who have EBV positive PTLD, which is roughly around 50% of all PTLD patients, we do have option of using uh, cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So these are EBV targeting cytotoxic T lymphocytes. And in this uh, context, we currently have a clinical trial uh, open and available in the country, and it is running at University Hospitals Birmingham. It is called the Allele trial, which uses third party uh, donor derived EBV CTLs for uh, this group of patients. And the data that we have on EBV CTL therapy for relapsed refractory PTLD is roughly around 50% of patients will have a long-term benefit, which is a lot better than what is uh, without this treatment. And there is still a significant unmet need for EBV negative PTLD where we need new treatments.